Now that we've got the text and picture we want, let's format them to finish the flyer. First, I'm going to select the text box that contains the flyer title. And from here on the Home tab, change the text size to 48 point. And the font to one that matches the style of this flyer better. If the text wraps in the text box like it did here, drag any handle on the corners or sides of the text box to change its size. Now, click in the text. Notice how the cursor appears between the letters. And let's change the line spacing to just one line, so we can tighten up the gap between the lines. Now, let's select this text, make it a bullet list, align the text to the left, and change the font size. I like that size, but now the text is bigger than the text box, so we need to increase the size of the text box so we can see all the text. Now keep in mind, there's really no right or wrong way to customize your template. Just keep moving, resizing, or rotating text boxes, changing fonts, text size, and alignment, until your document looks the way you want. Now let's make the picture we added fill up the space at the top of the flyer. To resize the picture, just drag any of the corner handles. Notice some of the image extends into the area on the margins of the flyer. This is a special area in Publishing Layout View known as the pasteboard. Any text or pictures you place in the pasteboard will not appear in the printed document, so you can use this area to store objects as you customize a document. Finally, let's make one last change. Here on the Home tab, under Arrange, click Reorder Objects and drag the photo one layer forward to make it appear in front of the blue banner. Now click OK to return to the flyer. Move this text box down just a bit and zoom out to get a look at the completed flyer. In the final lesson, we'll save this flyer as a template.